Hello guys, this is Rampage, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods into Mod Organizer 2, and I'm going to show you guys how to install character mods as well. So first, let's open Mod Organizer 2, and let's also open our File Explorer, and as you can see I have OCP downloaded. And once you download it, it will come in a zip file, and you'll just need to extract that. And since I already have WinRAR installed, I can just click Extract to OCP 2.4. If you don't have WinRAR installed, you can go up here to Extract, and I believe you can extract doing that. And since I already have this extracted, it will go to a folder like this. You'll click into that and then simply just select all the files and then right click, send to compress zip folder. Or if you have WinRAR, you can uh, add it to a .rar, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to do the same thing for the 50 roster hack. As you can see, once you download it, it will come in a zip. You'll just extract that and then it'll come into a folder like this select all the files and then right click send to compressive folder or you can add it to a RAR and also if you're using any roster hack you'll have to download these files which I already have downloaded but you can get these from the mod installation guide and you'll basically just add these three uh, files here the folder didn't input and then global you'll put these files into your actual game folder not into mod organizer 2 so let me show you that real quick uh, it'll come like this like the zip and then you'll extract it and here I have to extract this actually it'll come out like this and then you'll basically just drag and drop these files or you can copy and paste them into your game folder and that's only if you're using the roster hacks so back to OCP here's the RAR file I made you'll simply just go to the address bar here hit copy by right clicking and then go back to mod organizer 2 and then you can either uh, do the shortcut where you hit control plus M and it'll bring up file explorer or you can go to file and then install mod and then go to your OCP folder and then install the RAR file or zip file you just made and then it'll show up like this and then hit OK and that will install into your game and then after this I'll show you guys basically the same process for the 50 roster hack we also want to make sure that OCP is listed at the very top of the mod list here and now that that's in we can put the check mark on it and now we can work on the 50 roster hack which is right here and as you can see there's the RAR if you don't have WinRAR then it'll just be a zip file and we'll basically do the same process of installing that we'll hit OK here now that the 50 roster hack is in our mod list we'll put this right below OCP and add the check mark and then from here I'd highly recommend that you just run your game and make sure that your game loads fine and you have no crashing at the start and that if you have a roster hack installed that the roster is expanded and if everything's good you can just keep continue adding mods 
and it's basically the same process for a majority of every other mod that's ever made and the same thing also applies for character mods which I'll show you how to install we'll extract this I believe I already have vision installed here somewhere so I'm gonna remove that and redo the installation for him so here's all the files and you'll see that there's a hero stat all you need to do is basically take the character name that's in the hero stat file and rename the hero stat that text file to the same character name and then change the end of it to XML and then hit yes here and this file you'll copy it and then take this to open hero select MUA XML and then put the file into here as you can see I already have the vision file but I'm gonna just replace it and then you'll go to rosters you'll go to your roster file or you can make different rosters if you want but for this example I'm just gonna use the normal roster and then you would put his name vision like this wherever you want but keep in mind that this file is read from top to bottom so if you're not using a roster hack for example it's only going to read the first 27 characters if you're using 36 it'll read the first 36 if you're using 50 roster hack it'll read the first 50 if you for example have less than 50 and you're using the 50 roster hack then your game will probably crash so make if you're using a roster hack just make sure you're using the amount of characters you should have for the the roster size or have more and so um, you'll basically just save this I'm not gonna save it since I already have a rod uh, modded roster and you'll go back to the open hero select folder um, actually before we do that we need to install the actual files of vision so let's open that up so here we'll do the same process we'll take all the files right click and then send to a zip or you can send to a rar I'm gonna zip it and then you can just name this vision and then same process for mod organizer 2 installing the mod take the zip or rar file and install that and then hit OK here once you have your character mod already into mod organizer 2 you also have to add the track mark to the hero stats um, mod right here which is basically you just get from the mod installation guide under the mod organizer 2 which I'll show you real quick and it will tell you how to set that up basically you go to tutorials and then up here mod installation guide mod organizer 2 and then right here uh, using open hero select with mod organizer 2 this will just basically show you how to set up how to use um, open hero select with mod organizer 2 so that it just works how it's supposed to and yeah that's pretty much how that works and then from here you'll go back to open hero select you'll run this file and hit enter on generate hero stat for marvel ultimate alliance 
here I'm gonna say no just to run you through the setup and you'll basically just follow these prompts as I ask you it'll say do you have a roster size hack installed in this case since I have the 50 roster hack I'll say yes and then just scroll down to 50 I'll say the normal roster File name, game.exe is fine, this is fine, launch the game, I'm going to say no, I'll say yes to save the temporary files, show progress, I'll say no, and then I'll save these options so that I can use them in the future. And then once you see press enter to close, you are pretty much all done installing your custom character. And then you can run the game and your custom character should be set in the roster. We'd like to thank every single one of you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, well, why not check out some of our other content too? Feel free to leave comments down below, but please do try to keep it civil. If you want to experience any mods shown off in our videos, check out and join our community over at www.marvelmods.com or our official Discord server. Links are in the description. See you all next time.